If you're bad like me, but one day dream of having the Zuck Helm, or at least the Zerg Helm, then here are 10 easy Grandmaster Comet achievements you can get. I won't be covering any kill count tasks, because if you can do that content, it's technically considered free. I do want to iterate that by solo I mean you don't need a clan or friends and you can complete these tasks without talking to anybody. Our first two tasks are both going to be at Nex. We're going to do the I should see a doctor task and perfect Nex. If you've den never done a Nex kill, that's fine. These achievements are very easy. Hop on over to one of the Nex free for all worlds. It's either going to be world 332 or 505, whatever is best for your ping. When you first go in, you'll start by praying mage and then just follow everyone else. Here's a sample gear setup that I use. It, you can use whatever you want, just use your best range gear. Ruby bolts at a crossbow do very, very well here if you want some points. Make sure you don't bring a slayer helm like some of these people are doing. Our goal is to spread the cough, which, which is a little annoying, but we're going to spread the cough for at least one kill just to get the achievement of I should see a doctor. Once you see this barrier is purple, you can go on in. Make sure you pray mage and range. I forgot to switch my book. You can cast thralls if you like, and then just attack next. When you see these people coughing, you're just going to run next to them, and then you will cough, and you want to run into the group. Just make sure everyone coughs. And just keep this going the whole fight. People are going to hate you. After you kill Fumis, you're going to pray range. This is really the only time we have to switch our prayers. So now we're going to kill Umbra. Just make sure your health and prayer are topped up. The cough is going to bring you down. Now you're going to switch to mage, and you're going to stay mage the rest of the, ra the round. Always just attack next. Don't worry about the blood reavers. Focus on spreading the cough still. She will tell you when to attack her people. So now we're going to fight Crew Roar. And then just back to next. Work your way around. Stay with the group. Keep your prayer and your health high. Kill Glaces, and then we'll be in the final phase. And now kill Nex. It's at the end, so really focus on spreading that cough. If your prayer does drop, like you saw mine just drop, just get it back up real quick. Spread the cough some more. You're a degenerate. We learned nothing from COVID. I might recommend turning off your public chat for this achievement. Oh, an elite clue scroll. Nice. For the perfect kill, you're just going to do the same thing. Um, you can wear a Slayer Helm for this one, but just follow the group. Switch your prayers accordingly. Just look at what they're all doing. Pray mage with them. And then you'll see they'll attack this person soon. So you're going to attack that person. And you might not get it the first kill or two, but usually within 10 or 20 kill count, and these kill count go quick, the stars will align and nothing will happen to anyone and you'll get a perfect kill count. You really just do a few easy kills and you'll get the perfect next kill. Just uh, good luck on your drops and congratulations on the free Grand Master achievement. Our next two tasks are Keep Away and Org Killer. You may have actually gotten these tasks accidentally, and it just didn't count because you were not in a private instance. For these tasks to count, you need to be in the private instance. So all you're going to do is do the Bofa Door Altar method. Uh, this one, you're not going to take any damage from Bandos, and getting the 15 kills for Org Killer is very easy this way. On the way to the 15 kills, you will likely get the keep away task, which is just no minions damaging you. If not, just do a few more kills, and one of the times you kill Bandos, none of the minions will hit you. You don't need to flick prayers or anything like that. These tile markers I'm using come from the quick OSRS guide. I will put the tile markers in the description, as well as a link to his full guide on the Bofa method. 
but here's a quick rundown of it. Make sure I have all my range gear equipped. I'm going to pray melee and rigor and just head in. Once he's in cycle, make sure you switch to prey range, and then just keep running back and forth. Every three uh, ticks, you're gonna attack him. I would highly recommend having on true tile so you can see exactly when you get to one of them. And then just attack Bandos, click on the door, attack him, and then just go back and forth. Easy kills. I personally bring Ice Barrage, to heal off the minions. I try to freeze him there. And then let me set Blood Barrage. And then I can get a stack of heals here. The first kill is, is probably the most difficult running in there. After that first kill, you can use the altar if you want. I shouldn't be using it, but I'll just demonstrate. And you probably want to walk around instead of run like I just did, just to conserve a little run energy. I bring a stamina potion just in case I mess up too much. While you're going for these tasks, I would recommend not picking up drops like the rune plate bodies because they will make your run energy disappear a lot quicker. So Bandos has about five seconds. I'll just get ready. And then right when he spawns, click him and click the altar and he'll never hit me. While you're going towards the altar, you can click it for every movement. But when you're going towards the door, you'll just want to click it the first time, otherwise your guy will start running diagonal. So like here I can click the altar every time to go towards the altar. But for the door I can just click it the once, and then I just want to click where I'm trying to go. You can walk those last steps each direction if you need to save even a little more run energy. If you're not confident enough to uh, click on him before he gets to you, you can always just tank one hit from him, either pray melee and do the door altar, or pray range and do the door altar, and you'll get him in the cycle just as well. I will show you it praying melee at the start, just to show you what it looks like. I see he's about to spawn, so I'm just gonna turn on melee. And I'm gonna wait for him to come. I'm gonna wait till he hits me, and then I'm just gonna go. And then you can switch to range, and you're just in cycle like that. These are two free Grandmaster tasks from Bandos. Now that we can do Door Altar here, let's move on over to Zami. The Zamorak tasks are almost exactly the same as Bandos. Um, make sure you refresh your prayer because you lost it crossing. The big thing to remember here, just like Bandos, get the private instance. If you don't do the private instance, you won't get the task, even though, at least for Iron Man, the room is exactly the same. So for Zami, you're gonna enter, pray melee, I forgot it there, and then wait for him to attack you. Right when he attacks you, click on the altar, and you're in cycle. Just like that. And just like you did with Bandos, click on the door, and then you just click on the door the first time, and then you start clicking where you want to go. Um, here I'm walking the last three steps just to save a little bit of energy. Once again, these tasks are exactly the same as Bandos, so they are another two easy Grandmaster points. Right after you finish killing all the minions, you're gonna go to this red tile to set up. Instead of clicking right away, we're gonna wait for him to take one step, and then you click the altar, and you are in cycle. You should never get hit by the boss unless you make a mistake. Um, if you do get hit, you can just wait one tile either way, take a hint, take a hit, and then you're in cycle right away. Very easy combat achievement points. Let's move on to the next one.
Here is a review of me getting the Demon Whisperer. It just happened naturally doing the door altar, like I said. Keeping with the theme of God Wars, Arma's task, the worst ranged weapon, has no right to be on this list. It is way too easy. All you have to do is pray range and rigor, just step under Arma after every attack, and you should finish this task with plenty of supplies left. Moving on to everyone's favorite undead dragon, Vorkath, we have two tasks. A Faithless Encounter and a Fremenic Way. For a Faithless Encounter, this is the gear I'm going to take. Just a pretty tanky range gear, and I'm bringing ruby bolts as well as diamond bolts. You're going to want to load up your inventory with a range spot, a defense spot, anti-venom, and the extended super anti-fire. You obviously don't need any prayer potions, because we won't be praying. The rest of it is just going to be food, a slayer staff to auto-cast crumble undead, and the runes and boots to get back here. It is a fairly self-explanatory task. I was initially scared of it because I thought I would have to flick the whole task, but it is not that bad. For this, you can loops walk if you want, but if you want to take the time to eat up, you have plenty of time to do it here and then you'll be fresh once he stops it. You can eat up after you kill that as well, because there's a little delay before you can attack Vorkath again. Easy Grandmaster task. For the Fremenic Way, this is the inventory and the gear I take. If you want it to be even easier, you could get a Slayer task and bring a Slayer Helm and a Blood Fury, but it's not really necessary. I also bring a Mage Top Switch, just so I can land Crumble Undead. Do not bring a Slayer Staff to auto-cast it. This is going to be a very slow, but it is a very easy combat achievement. For our 10th and final Grandmaster task, we're going to do Denying the Healers 2. This task is very easy. All you want to do is drag Jad to the northeast corner when he spawns. This way, once you get him to half health, his healers won't spawn next to, them, next to him and you have plenty of time to tag them. After you tag them, just kill Jad like normal, and congratulations on the task! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a like and subscribe, and good luck on your Zuckhelms.